Hello and welcome everybody. Today I want to teach you what the absolute best soundproof door option is. And when I say best, I mean the most soundproof. So if you have planes flying over your house or a busy street right next to your uh, home recording studio, then this is probably the door option you wanna use for your design when you're building your home recording studio. Before we jump in, I do have a resource for you that I think will help you beyond designing your door, which is my free soundproofing workshop. It is 40 minutes of loaded material to teach you how to go from knowing nothing about soundproofing to actually having a design on paper that will help you jump into actually building your home recording studio and soundproofing it. So if you wanna check that out, just go to soundproofyourstudio.com and you can follow the link and get started in watching that workshop right away. All right, let's jump in to the lesson here. So to start with, I wanna say that there are three main types of doors that you can build with soundproofing. And one of those three is the one that I think is the most soundproof and the best. The first option is what is known as communicating doors. So communicating doors are when you have two solid core doors on either side of your walls, the outside and the inside of your studio, and each door will close and create an air gap in the middle and it will make your soundproof studio soundproof, whereas if you had just one door, a lot of sound could still come through because there's not enough mass. So communicating doors is probably the cheapest option and it could be the easiest, although there's still a good amount of construction involved in terms of hanging two doors, which is not easy, and then also sealing up those doors with weather stripping. The second option is what I did with my own home studio, and I did it because I like the idea of having only one door. So I did what's known as a super heavy door, and this door Door design uses solid core door like the communicating door design, but then you also add eight pounds per square foot of sheet lead to the back of that door, and then on top of that, sandwich that sheet lead in with three quarter inch cabinet grade plywood. Now this makes oh, around a 300 pound door, so very massive, which is stopping that sound, and then you add weather stripping around it, and you have that single door into and out of your studio, which is a lot nicer than having to open two doors. The third option, which I think is the best option, is building what's known as an airlock or a vestibule, where you have two doors like you did in the, the communicating door option. However, you build a miniature little entryway room that will help stop the sound even more than any of those other two door options I mentioned before. So the airlock is the one I'm gonna talk about in this video. I also wanna say that I have made two other YouTube videos that you might be interested in. The first one is how to actually build a soundproof door that goes over how I built the super heavy door. You can check that out above me right here. And as well, there is the video on talking about these three door options more in depth, and you can check out the link to that above me right here as well if you're on YouTube, and it's also in the description, and if you're on the podcast, check the description below for those links. So let's talk about when you would want to use this airlock system in your studio, because not everybody may need this maximum amount of isolation. So I would say that if you are building a standalone structure like I did in my backyard, where you have one door directly leading to the outside there's nothing else there. I wish I had built an airlock in my studio because I think that the door, even though it's that 300 pound door, it still is the weakest link in my studio. And so when you have, you know, really loud helicopters flying over low or like a someone mowing the lawn like directly outside the door, you can still hear it for sure. It's definitely redu reduced in volume. Uh, but for that maximum isolation, like I said, if you're living on a busy street, if you're like in New York City, or if you are uh, have an airport nearby, I've had some students say that they have airplanes flying over their house, what should they do? This would be a situation where you'd wanna have the maximum isolation. And that's where the airlock would come in. So now let's talk about how the airlock works and how you would construct it. And this is gonna be a general overview, but I think it'll help give you an idea of exactly what this system is and how you can involve it in your own home studio plan. So the airlock works like the communicating door system. If you look at this diagram here, I've added what I wish I had done to my own home studio. This is the original design of my studio, which is just a big rectangle, but I wish I had added this vestibule area 
off the side of my studio. And the best way to do this is to have an L shape. And the L shape makes it so your two doors aren't facing each other, but you actually have one door facing towards a wall and then the other door facing towards a wall, which will help reduce the amount of sound that can travel through your airlock. Now you're gonna put solid core doors on both sides. You're gonna have to use weather stripping just like you would with any door system on both doors and make sure that they're completely airtight. And then you're gonna have a double wall system within the airlock. So the double wall system is where you have a outside wall and an inside wall. And the inside wall has a one inch air gap. And then you attach two layers of 5 8 inch drywall with green glue in the middle. And that'll give you the maximum amount of soundproofing that you want for your airlock system. On the outside wall, if it's within a structure, you can put another two layers of drywall on the outside, or you can add sheathing and whatever material you're using on the outside. We used hardy board. Uh, I think if you put green glue in between the sheathing and the hardy board, that would obviously help, but we didn't do that, and I still think it, it provides enough mass. Uh, if you had brick or if you had concrete blocks or something, that also would do great if it's an outside wall. So that is the general gist of how the airlock system works. It's fairly simple in concept, but this system, because you have all that space in there and the extra room, it'll give you the maximum amount of isolation for your soundproof door system. So in conclusion, uh, I think there's a lot of benefits beyond even the soundproofing. One thing being that if you are building an airlock system, you have extra space in there. You could potentially record vocals in there. You could record, uh, have it as an isolation booth. You could build a bathroom off of it. Um, you could build a storage closet off of it. And you could even put a closet off of it that could house your whole ventilation system. And that's what I would have done if I had built an airlock system and, and thought through this a little more carefully when I was building my own home studio. So I hope this video helps you. If you're building a studio in your backyard like I did, definitely consider this as a option for your door. I think you would really find it amazing once it's built. Again, if you wanna take a deeper dive than just these quick YouTube videos, check out that free soundproofing workshop. It's 40 minutes. You take a deep dive into how to build a soundproof home recording studio and you will learn a lot. I guarantee you this will be better than just watching tons of my videos and other soundproofing videos online. To go to that, you can just go to soundproofyourstudio.com. That is soundproofyourstudio.com and you can start watching that 40 minute workshop right away. All right, thank you all so much for watching. It makes me so happy to hear from you over email. Everyone is learning how to soundproof and many of you are taking this knowledge and actually going out there and building your dream home studio. So that, that makes me so proud. We have new videos every Monday, so stick around, stay tuned, and I will see you next Monday.